Security guards in San Francisco and Oakland say that they're accustomed to risk, but they argue that they're facing a disturbing spike in violence. At an Oakland rally today, they outlined the kind of help and support they say they badly need and just aren't getting. Our Catherine Heenan is here now with that story. Catherine? Yeah, union leaders who represent those security officers in Oakland and San Francisco say their members are finding themselves in the middle of a lot of dangerous situations. And more than ever, they held a rally today to demand more workplace protection. They're talking about problems that include violent robberies, being attacked as they try to clear the homeless from in front of buildings, dealing with people with mental illness, and facing resistance when they try to enforce COVID safety measures. These are the people who protect office buildings and public facilities in downtown areas. They are asking for hazard pay, more training, more planning from employers to cope with violence when it happens. Well, today we're here, security officers um, demanding better pay, better conditions, um, training on the, on the job, um, better preparation. Um, we're workers have experienced here, the security officers have experienced, like anywhere else, a rise in, in random violence. Um, and they've seen this not just now, but over the course of the pandemic, um, as frontline officers to these buildings. They protect tenants, they protect the community around the tenants, they protect this property, and they want, they want better, better training, better pay, better health care, better can work conditions. And a tragic example of the kind of risk uh, security officers face, the shooting death of security guard Kevin Nishida last November. He had been protecting a Cron 4 news crew in Oakland when it happened. Three people have been charged. As for those union members rallying today, they say that they are bringing several proposals for better conditions to the bargaining table.